Hello everyone. I'm Rashmi Kathuria and I'm a teacher in Kulachi Hansdash Model School. Today I am glad to present on the topic teaching in an online environment. And uh, my subject is mathematics. So this presentation is prepared for capacity building program for the teachers of mathematics who are teaching in DAV schools. So what I did one day, I typed India teaching online Jugaad on Google. You can try this. And when you type India teaching online Jugaad, then you see something interesting. I got this as my reply. Teacher ke Jugaad aur jazbe ko dunia kar rahi salute. I really, really appreciate teachers who are working 24 cross 7 for reaching to students, helping them, making them learn in whatever situations they are, and they are trying to help them. Now, this is a look and feel of earlier classrooms. And I really, really miss this. One day I was watching this video of my previous teaching on YouTube and I really miss my students. See how the classrooms were earlier where the children were busy, engaged in learning what mathematics what will be the and see step. the passion we are trying to arrange. and enthusiasm uh, of the uh, teacher. Read the question carefully and solve We really, it. really miss such learning environments. See the That's chirpy right. classrooms. Yes, I'm coming, I'm coming. Hey. So this is group two. Please exchange your slips. Oh my god, I really, really miss that environment. Now, what is the status of classroom now? You also must have been experience, experiencing the same. So what we see now is such a window with some alphabets, some names, some board, teacher teaching, we are teaching trying to reach. This is now classroom. Can we hear some noise? Do we feel them? Can we appreciate them? I have lots of concerns in my mind as a teacher. I often ask my students, am I audible to you all? Are you all understanding what I'm saying? And I am concerned about how I can make my math classroom ready for all learners. Earlier, I used to do some activities with them. Earlier, I used to take them outside of the classroom where we used to play, sit, and explore lots and lots of hands-on activities, visualization, and doing some group activities. I am missing all of them. Now I am concerned what strategy I should use to give my best. And I'm really, really concerned how I achieve the learning goals, learning outcomes, and how I can make my students happy learners. And of course, I also want to be a happy teacher. And I want to remain as a happy teacher. So in my presentation, I would be sharing with you something which I have tried in my previous two months. And I thought that uh, how learning can be more engaging, more effective in an online environment. And now you know that the online teaching is only left as an alternative. We are stuck in lockdown. We are sitting at home and children are, are at their own homes. And we started teaching using the gadgets which were there at home and the resources which were available. Some of the teachers were not having their textbooks also. 
and they managed some of the teachers were having the mobiles and they started teaching on mobiles they managed and they did not stop and they started teaching using best of the resources and the skills and as a teacher they could manage connecting with children online with courage and positive thoughts salute to all hats off to each one of you and you can hear i am applauding as a teacher this is for each one of you now teach from home is not a culture in india and it was not a culture for teaching in india but now we have to teach and we started with a hope and giving our best a new learning model has evolved and the entire classroom structure you have seen in my previous slide that it has changed and we have to take ownership of building a new model of effective teaching and learning so that the learning and teaching go on now what children ask what they do and what they say please think and reflect children they ask certain questions like they used to ask in the class children they share their work like they used to share their work earlier children are they able to participate like they used to participate earlier so we have to think about many such questions in our class so my dear friends this is the first thing which we have to be looking at the teacher preparedness in terms of knowledge skills and attitude what comes in terms of knowledge is knowledge of the subject knowledge of the learning objectives knowledge of the learning outcomes knowledge of the content which we have to deliver so here i am doing a little of brainstorming here i have prepared a mind map so let us study about the teacher teacher has to explore so the teacher has a will to learn should have a will to learn explore collaborate and share a teacher has to partner with the students and in terms of knowledge i have already shared the teacher should have knowledge of whatever is going on in the environment so that he or she should acquire the skill set for taking up teaching and learning in an online environment so my dear friends what are the skill sets which are required and how we are going to do this this is really really important so if you see the skill set creation of resources delivery of content and taking up assessment these are the three major pillars of teaching and learning and how we have to do all these three things so for creation of resources the teacher has to acquire skill set of preparing presentations like ppts or google slides sheets and then assignments in the document activity slides podcast that means recording their voices and then creating quiz on different platforms using mind maps either using a software so knowledge of soft software and how to build up the mind maps using that software that skill is also important then in online environment how we can create these uh, mind maps in a collaboration mode that is also a skill set which is required so creation of resources in terms of crosswords can we use various softwares for creating crosswords then puzzles then recording videos using mobile or uploading them on youtube creating the playlist these are the skill sets which are very very essential for 21st century teachers that means those who are taking up teaching and learning in an online environment screen casting meaning capturing the screen and making a video 
using online applets, designing and creating online applets, games, using different types of mind boards. These are all the skill sets. Basically, the teacher has to acquire while taking up the online teaching and learning. Second is the delivery. How the content will be delivered? In which mode? Are we having certain platform where we are sharing our resources and children are able to access that? Like blogs, wikis, Google Classrooms, online games, the YouTube channel, website, various online interactive platforms and interactive software. So for delivery of the content, we require all these platforms. And if we have to do connect with them face to face, then what all medium we are using for face to face connection for face to face connection? What kind of medium we are using? Are we using Google Meet? That is one option. Are we having the Microsoft Teams? That is another option. Earlier, like I have heard from many of the teachers that they were using Zoom. That is also an, another interesting uh, platform to connect face to face. So we should have the knowledge and skill of various video conferencing platform for connecting with the children. So this is another thing which is important for the delivery. Now comes the assessment, which is the third pillar. How we take up the assessment, basically the formative assessment has to take up at every step. So like, uh, do we know how to create a Google form quiz or a Microsoft form quiz? Or are we able to uh, create the quiz using any other online platform where the assessment can uh, take place? So these are the basic things which a teacher should acquire, the skills which a teacher should acquire in terms of creation of resources, delivery, and assessment. So you see that if you are a 21st century teacher, we should have the set of all the, these knowledge because we have to achieve the learning goals. We have to cater to needs of every child. And of course, in an online environment, we have to save time, break the monotony, and to create our subject interesting. And we have to create opportunities for self-exploration. And we have to bridge the gap, whatever we are teaching and what the children are learning. If certain gaps are remain, then in that case, we have to bridge those gaps. And we have to be connected with the students online in using certain platforms. And you know, that's the way for now. So we have to acquire this skill set. So I'm coming back to my presentation here. Teacher preparedness is really, really important. So my dear friends, you have uh, now seen that how important it is to inculcate the skill set, various skill set in the teachers to take up the teaching in an online environment. An attitude of the teacher is important. The teacher has to acquire the skill of the mindset of taking ownership, ownership of professional development that I would say that self professional development. Create your personal learning network with your colleagues, with teachers of other schools, sit together online and discuss, collaborate, share, and that attitude will really help in evolving all of us as a better teacher. So before starting an online class, I have listed few things. Prepare the e-lesson as per the learning objectives and needs of all types of learners. So I say keep the resources ready in a folder. And if you are using some uh, software, be ready with that. So let me share with you how we do. So this is uh, like I am teaching class eight. So I have a folder class eight e lesson maths. In class eight, we have all these chapters. And for every chapter, folders have been created. So you see that if I go to first chapter, the resources 
related to these chapters are already there. The presentation is there, handouts are there, enrichment activity is there, the lesson plan is there, and there is a folder which is called Google Site Lesson Update. The Google Site has been created where the chapter-wise resources have been uploaded date-wise so that parents can also see like what is happening in the classroom. So you see that this is up to 1st of May, what we what has been done. So on the Google Sites, this document is available to the parents. What has to be done in the notebook and list of the videos, links of the videos, what the children has to learn stepwise, each and everything is mentioned here. And parents and children can go to this document at any time it is not that it is available at the time of face-to-face -face interaction they can look into this document anytime so i'm coming back here because i was sharing with you like how important it is to organize the lesson prepare the lesson e-lesson in a folder so this is the first and foremost requirement now uh, as per my experience of using technology, it is important that we should first practice the tool on our own. It can be one time you are a technology expert and you can use it. But if you really want to use it with students, I would recommend that you practice the tool once, twice, thrice and get familiarized with the tool Self-practice is very, very important. Consciously wear presentable clothes when you know that you have to open the camera. It makes a greater impact on the children, how my teacher is looking. And then choose a place where house activities are not visible on the camera. That is your personal life. So you have to be very careful when you are teaching this before starting the online class. Now, while taking the online class, some interesting things can take place. So be mindful of what you speak online. Every word matters. It reaches to the heart of children. The children are listening to your each and every word. So my dear friends, be mindful of what you speak online. Parents are also listening. Maybe somebody else in the family is sitting with the child and the, they are also listening to you. You are like a role model to them. Consciously check the movement in front of the camera. I will share with you an example. Like a teacher was teaching in a class and suddenly the teacher realized, uh, oh, I have to get my book. And she stood up and she bent for picking up the book. And when she was standing, the portion of the body which was there in front of the camera for a fraction of seconds it was visible and when she was coming back again the same setup was there so my dear friends we have to be very careful when we are turning on our camera consciously we have to check the movements another important point is when uh, we are taking up online classes Emotional quotient of children matters. We have to talk to all the children. But in a 40 minutes or 45 minutes class, on one day, we cannot talk. So we can devise strategies like consciously prepare role number 1 to 5, maybe 6 to 10, or alphabetically, if the names are coming on the screen. So you can remember, today I, have, I had a word with children whose name starts with A, B, or C, things like that. So it purely depends on you. And then give chance to children to speak, participate, so that you are able to establish a bond with the children. Use storytelling and creative strategies for delivering the content. It makes a difference. It makes a difference. And my dear friends, connection is the key. Communication is the key to reach to every child. So establishing a connection is a core component of teaching and learning. So give chance to all the children to participate. It is important. 
and use appreciate appreciation like we are appreciating children by just taking their names or by just telling them good very good excellent things like that it's, it's simple i think every teacher can every teacher can do this now when the after uh, lesson is over it's not that the class is over we have to do self reflection what went good and what needs improvement this is for us now you see i'm trying to compare virtual environments and the real environments so we have to design and take care of the core structure the flow of content what kinds of assignments and activities are essential to be taken in online environment and what we can do what we can do uh, give to them which they can explore on their own because it is important that we don't have to choose only the activities which are which are uh, engaging them on screen so we have to see and create a balance of uh, uh, screen time like it has to be as less as possible so we have to choose the activities as per the need and we have to design them so that some of the activities they can do on their home by sitting in groups in family or sitting alone so time management is also very important when we are planning any activity in a virtual environment and it is really really important not all children are same so go with the flow of children do do not burden them with lots and lots of stuff so engage them in an online environment effectively and of course like i told you earlier plan some activities of engaging them so that they can sit away from the screen and do something meaningful something needful and we have to be very careful about the emotional well being of children and ourselves also now we are posting lots of stuff in an online environment maybe we are posting our videos we are posting assignments we are posting activities comments lots of stuff pictures so correctness of content is important so be mindful of what you post when you draw pictures when you post in uh, groups in online spaces please avoid sharing personal information and now something important i am sharing with you that uh, when we are presenting using mobile and many of many a times it has been noticed that uh, some of the teachers i know you are a passionate teacher you are presenting using mobile they have some personal photographs in their mobiles on the screen cover so try to avoid having that kind of setup in an online environment it would be nice if you remove those personal pictures and images and even from your uh, you know uh, screen icons your personal emoticons of maybe your children or your family members it is really it will be good for you as well as for the other children because they will not get distracted by what they see on the screen which is not desirable for them at that very particular time so setting up of, of passwords is also important that when you are logging in into various online websites various online uh, platforms uh, be sure uh, like you set up good uh, safe passwords containing mixed characters and then you can set up your coding language for writing setting the passwords now i'm sharing with you some don'ts i really really wish that do not post during the odd hours in the whatsapp groups or in the classrooms because whenever you post it get ting ting or children get notifications so set up certain time so that is important giving the work which involves use of screen only i talked about this earlier also so be mindful of that addressing the ones who are responding and participating you have to be careful about each and every child so address to all children 
catering to needs of those who have good technological resources they have to be mindful of helping those children who are not having uh technological you know gadgets good gadgets or we have to be help, we have to help them and we have to reach to them by some other ways maybe they have low bandwidth so they are not able to enter into an online environment so in that case you can help them just by sharing resources in the whatsapp group so they can access to those resources at their e ease in their house uh, uh, using uh, the bandwidth of uh, their internet connectivity and we have to cater to the needs of children with special needs also this is really really important so few years ago i posted this uh, article so i am taking you to that particular article it is about uh, what kinds of teachers will survive you know i wrote this article long ago uh, i think okay it was for top global blogger post so here i mentioned some of the things which teachers will survive and this was some time back and it is valid in today's scenario also teachers who are lifelong learners will survive number 2 teachers who take ownership of self professional development will survive teachers who work in collaborative groups they will survive because when you work in groups you tend to learn share and when you share then again the learning process is going on because the other person asks something and then you are learning and then using social media in a positive way and then using interdisciplinary approach and blended strategies of teaching and learning it is very very important so i have given the link of this article and details you can refer to later and then i posted another article on some important tools okay let me talk about this this is quite interesting these are my favorite eight tools which i have used in previous two months Number one on my list as a maths teacher is GeoGebra. Number two is FreeMind uh, for doing uh, interactive mind mapping, maybe in the form of recapitulating the things and then aggregating ideas and thoughts, doing brainstorming in the live classroom, then using Google applications, Docs, Sheets, Forms, Google Classroom, YouTube, and Blogger. and then using flipgrid for recording video responses from the students and then creating engaging quizzes and games on kahoot and using certain online interactive websites for uh, bringing interactive approach in my classroom and using ip webcam which is a mobile application for sharing my notebook like what i am writing on the notebook it is visible to students on my screen and then screencastify it's an online uh, this is a google chrome extension which i use for recording my videos now you see that uh, when uh, uh, i i am now sharing the setup like this is the setup how i sit and then i write in my notebook and children they see online on the screen see this is one good example okay, dear students today we are going to learn about uh, three dimensional shape which is this i have recorded okay, using that uh, ip webcam board. live class so, is going on here when we have to demostrate something the, show something to the children so children can, can see the objects the the, the, like sometimes when i am opening camera. my camera and bandwidth is not One there is the and the children are not able to see so this what is I in a close way yes, children can see the object and see what teacher is doing 
and see how the camera has been focused and whatever teacher is doing the child children are able to visualize so see, this is one good example and then you see here this is the applet geogebra you can instantly open it do whatever you wish to do in the class like i want to do some activity with them say i want to reflect this triangle with respect to the y axis so click on the object and you see in the fraction of seconds you can plan activities i have recorded some videos on using geogebra so you can watch them later so this is my favorite and then this is the uh, free mind i shared with you like i did the interactivity with you also so this is this has been done on free mind so this is a good tool which can be used by the teachers another good tool is uh, here i am taking you to live to this uh, website illumination drawing tool like this online tools can be used in the classroom see this one They're quite uh, handy and quite easy to use in a online classroom say for example i have to do this activity i can create good stuff for children instantly in front of them frame questions and it will help them to visualize fine so here i have shared with you some thoughts and ideas of uh, teaching and 10 years ago i shared with the teachers a list of certain websites which can be used in a math classroom so here is the list you can access to the list later math videos online readers number <clears throat> number not illuminations teachers corner aaa maths free -E, so many things so my dear friends this is all from me and uh, i'm really happy that all of you have done a great job and i wish that by god's grace we would be able to deliver in an online environment to the students in a positive way thank you so much thank you very much and thank you to dav cae for uh, giving an opportunity to all of us to collaborate explore learn and share even in an online environment we express our sincere gratitude to all the principals school principals who have guided us nurtured us and who have created a wonderful support system for all the teachers so that they can learn and they can work together in an online environment as well thank you so much thank you to each one of you all the best